So hey guys, we are here at the G-Skill event. They're overclocking right behind us. I'm here with Mark, one of the engineers, uh, G-Skill memory. So Mark, uh, tell us what's going on back here. What motherboards are they using? What memory are they using? Exactly what, uh, are we setting a new world record here today or something? Well, this is our annual Computex uh, overclocking event. And this is one of the kind in the world because we invite uh, top overclockers from around the world and we work with the four major motherboard uh, manufacturers. Today you're going to see uh, Gigabyte. Um, we're going to overclock on Gigabyte motherboards with our G-Skill memory. Okay. And what's the memory modules that they're using? What's the capacities, or is there any standard of the type of modules? Yeah, modules. Well, they typically use our uh, Trident X series, and it, de it really depends on them because. We have both four gigabyte modules and eight gigabyte modules, and we have our uh, top modules available in four, eight, 16, and 32 gigabyte sets. Right. Yeah. And what's the, the speed that we're overclocking with? The speed? Well, a couple of days ago, we broke the world record at about 4229 megahertz. 4229 megahertz. That's pretty, that's pretty impressive. We're trying to break that today, so we'll see what happens. What, what are the, what's the progress on that? The progress on that? Well, I don't know. We'll find out later on, I guess. We'll find out, we'll find out. Nice. So uh, what's, the, what's the process of overclocking the memory? Is, uh, what, what are they most tweaking in uh, the memory module? The timings, uh, they're working with the, the motherboard specs, with uh, the CPU, so there's a lot of, it's a whole science uh, going on there, right? It's a very complex science, but you, what you're trying to do is increase the, uh, the clock frequency and you're working with the timings and you're also trying to work with uh, uh, the CPU frequency in order to get a, get a stable um, setting so that you can actually go into the system. Right. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to go back inside to check out exactly the, the new memory modules that are you guys introducing uh, this year. Mm -hmm. So let's go in and check those out. So now moving back inside, we're going to take a look at some of the modules. But uh, first, uh, with the introduction of Haswell, the, 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 this overclocking potential and just reaching the stock speeds of 3000 megahertz has become a reality, has become uh, a potential because with the Ivory Bridge, the, the highest was 2833. Uh, 28. 28. Mm -hmm. Right. So now with, uh, with Haswell, brings a lot of overclocking potential and just uh, default, uh, default speeds for the, uh, the modules. Now, a lot of companies are jumping on board for this. So, G Skill, um, uh, Mark, so tell us about what type of modules you guys are introducing here and what was the process of getting to that 3000 mark? On the Haswell modules or CPU, that um, it's improved a lot on the IMC. So then we can get to a higher frequency because it's a lot more stable on higher frequency. So what we have here is um, starting from the 2832 um, 32 gigabytes all the way up to the 3000 megahertz range. Yeah. And then we're the first company to actually validate with Intel to have a XMP certification for our uh, for our 3000 megahertz kits. Nice. And Getting here, um, well, we have to filter out through a lot of chips. We have to go through a lot of engineering. We have to t uh, make tweaks to our settings and timings and frequency and yeah. just pretty much everything on the motherboard. Mm -hmm. So what we have here are 16 gigabyte memory kits and 32 gigabyte memory kits on 3000. And um, what we have here is also uh, running to show that it's stable, HyperPi running eight, eight threads and you will see right here that we have pretty much uh, no problem running through here. Yeah, it's running then, stable, no errors. Yeah, and it's been on since this morning. So it's pretty nice. nice. And over here, 16 gigabytes, we have, um, we're actually overclocked beyond 3000. And if you see right there, it's about 3250. Yeah. yeah. And, this is, and this is just on air. Wow. And what makes this difficult is that we stuck in four modules. Most, most of the times, uh, it's usually overclocking on one or two modules, but we have to, because we're trying to push for the limit. We're trying to go beyond the limit. And the difficult thing about four modules is that you have to synchronize the timing, you have to synchronize all the settings across all four modules, right. which is the maximum supported. So we've done a lot of work on that. Okay. So uh, given this, this is 3,000 megahertz at 1.65 volts, what is the overclocking potential aside from what we see here you know, for a regular consumer who would buy these? Potential, it really depends on how you tweak it. It really depends on the hardware that you use. And really, each kit and each system very varies. 
So what you get is, yeah. Uh, what's the availability date and how much are we expected to pay for these? Well, the 60 gigabyte it's, is already available, but the 32 should be available really soon and it's on the market, it's been listed. And according to prices, well, it depends on your local retailer. Right. Well, thanks, Mark. Great uh, memory from G-Skill. Uh, high uh, frequency module, so great for rendering, aside from gaming. Uh, but excellent, excellent for rendering. We have high capacity modules, so 32 gigabytes. So thanks, Mark. And uh, stay tuned, guys, for more Computex coverage.